Hello everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am up with another layout as guest designer for Crazy Craft Obsession this month, which is an online Australian scrapbooking store uh, and I have created, this is my last layout, I don't actually know when it's going up in the month, if it's the last video you will see, but it is the last layout that I created um, and it is focusing on Halloween. So Halloween is getting bigger in Australia, I will say, but it is not... Um, necessarily a, a massive holiday here um, as I said we are it is starting to become a little more popular um, but it's definitely uh, not huge so having said that my son Lincoln he is obsessed with Halloween this year um, and he wants to dress up well he wanted to dress up as all sorts of things <laughs> um, vampire and a skeleton and a mummy and a zombie he loves zombies and anyway he watches a lot of YouTube <laughs> um, and there's a lot of kids cartoony bits like particularly with singing um, that has Halloween shows and he's loving them so I've got a, a friend um, who does photography uh, and she, it's, it's sort of, it's not her main income. I, I don't want to say she's an amateur photographer. She's not. She's an amazing photographer, but it's not her primary source of income. Um, and so she often does these little mini shoots in her house where she's got backgrounds set up. Uh, and she, this year for the first time, she wanted to do a little Halloween mini shoot, uh, but she wanted to take some um, like sample photos first. So she asked if my kids would come over. Um, and, and have some photos taken um, and we could have some of the photos that she took if she could use them for advertising. And I was like, hell yes, we'll be there. <laughs> so Addison's in a cute little pumpkin costume and Lincoln has a few costume changes. He's got a vampire costume, a pirate costume and a skeleton costume. Uh, and yeah, we took some super cute photos. And so as I said, Halloween, it, it's not a big holiday for us. You know, we didn't go trick or treating or anything like that. Um, although Lincoln would have loved to. Um, we... <laughs> We did send him trick-or-treating, so to speak, but my mother-in-law lives in our backyard in her own unit. And so he wanted to go trick-or-treating to Alma's house. And so he did go trick-or-treating, but, you know, in our backyard to his his Alma's house. Uh, but it's not something we would do at this point in kind of our streets because it's just not – there's not that many houses who do trick-or-treating. But as I said, it is becoming more popular. There are some – pockets you know of like streets and stuff that do do trick-or-treating so maybe as he gets older if it's still something he's interested in we'll do it uh, now these cut files are from mm, pear tree cut files I want to say um, I just trimmed the top of that pumpkin off like little stalky bit because I didn't want it to poke through the witch pumpkin that sounds a bit weird the pumpkin dressed up as a witch <laughs> um, I didn't want it to pop through the mouth so I just trimmed that off uh, and I've stuck uh, the mummy pumpkin cut file down flat and then the uh, the pumpkin dresses which I've popped up on foam and then the simple stories say cheese frontier at the park collection which is what I'm working with this month for crazy craft obsession um, had a Halloween some Halloween elements which is one of the things that drew me to this collection uh, it had the Halloween it had the pirate elements um, and it had the uh farm and anyway it's lots of bits that I knew that I could get a lot of use out of and so I made this layout and I definitely got enough to make at least one more Halloween layout which is cool um, and so I'm just creating some clusters along the page with the bits and pieces that I have um, I'm not doing much of a title I, I use a very dark background paper the dark photos you know the very kind of eerie spooky um Oh, so I stuck I stuck these cobwebs, one in each corner because there's two uh, stickers from the sticker sheet and then there's two foam stickers that are also the cobwebs. Uh, and then I decided I don't like them and I try to rip them up. <laughs> uh, and it sort of works. You, you'll see that as we go on. Um, so I'm really just trying to use up the bits that I have. So, um, you know, getting a lot of the ghosts on the page, really just, you know, just all the Halloween things. Um, the headless, I don't think it's a ghost. I think it's like a, um, what do you call it? Like a, uh, a bust, you know, like a, a, a oh, what, what's the word that you, a statue, hmm, statue. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, anyway, 
I'm sticking down my cobwebs. As I said, I've got them in each corner. Two of them are foam and two of them are flat uh, cardstock stickers. And I do end up not liking them and wanting to pull them up. Um, and you'll see how that goes shortly. <laughs> well, right at the end, actually. I'm pretty sure I do everything else and then think, I really don't like those. I want to pull them up. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. Sorry, excuse that. That was my, me pulling my chair out. Um, as I said, I am multitasking. Wait, did I say that in this video? I might have said it in my last video. I'm multitasking. Uh, I've got a cup of tea, which I'm going to take a sip of right now. Ah, bliss, a hot cup of tea. Uh, and I'm, <laughs> uh, my Addison's asleep, my daughter is asleep. And so I'm trying my best to get, A, the voiceovers done, because that's a bit trickier. Um, and then I've got a couple more videos that I really would like to film while she's asleep. Um, I am starting the December videos for our Scrappy Advent calendar. Um, there's just, it, there is lots going on and it is mid-November and I have not started creating the Advent calendar videos yet. Um, which isn't great, <laughs> I'll be honest, because, um, you know, I've got to give them to my sister before the 1st of December. So we'll just, yeah, we'll just have to see how we go. Um, yeah, anyway, d d don't panic. No one needs to panic. <laughs> Jess has not started doing hers either. So, uh, you know, we're both in the same boat. <laughs> but anyway, we'll be, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, so I've stuck my title on which is the word boo I'm just checking to see if there's anything else I want to add um, I had a look and I think I added no I might not have oh no I added definitely added one of the uh, what do you call them decorative brads I think they call them um, and then I'm going to add a couple of word strips that are sort of specific to the Halloween theme um, and you know there's six photos again on this page one of my other layouts had six photos I said I'm all about um a lot of photos on layouts at the moment. Um, look, could I have done separate layouts for all of these photos? Absolutely. They are super cute Halloween photos. And I know many people would have, you know, done two or three layouts at least um, of this particular occasion. Um, but the brutal truth is I don't have enough room in my albums. <laughs> um, and I'm just trying to limit the amount of physical albums I have because they take up a lot of space. Now you can see there, I tried to pull off um, all of the cobwebs in the corner, uh, but I couldn't remove the other two. Um, so they have stayed and I've just removed uh, the one on the bottom left and the top right. Um, but I left the ones on the top left and the bottom right <laughs> uh, because I couldn't remove those easily without ripping things. So they have stayed. Anyway, um, here you see, I'm trying to remove them. Oh no, maybe it's only the bottom right that stays. That one definitely stays. <laughs> so there you go. <clears throat> it's only the bottom right that stays. So I'm pretty sure I'm done. I think I wanted to add some splatters. Do I add some splatters? Let's have a look. I'm going to add a few of the enamel dots. Now, weirdly enough, this is the first layout that I use the enamel dots on. Um, I haven't used them uh, on another layout yet. I think it's because I was using the um, decorative brads. And so I just didn't get the enamel dots used that's okay I add a couple to each of the clusters no splatters there you go and we're done here's my close-up so thank you guys so much I will leave a link to crazy craft obsession in the description box I don't know if I said it it's an affiliate link um, you get something but I also get something if you use that link so go and check it out if you are so inclined and we will see you next time thanks guys bye